Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither at the Animal Hospital of Statesville and recently I went to speak to the kindergartners at Cottle Creek Elementary, which you guys might have seen Kyle's post on that. I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, I talked to them about all things veterinarian and what we do here at our clinic and some of the, the neat things that we get to do day to day in our job. And afterward, a class sent me this thank you booklet, which was really cool. And they drew pictures for me and talked about things that we discussed whenever I was there. So we thought you guys would enjoy seeing the book that they made for me and we could share that. There's a lot of cute pictures in here and they wrote things that they learned about during our time together. So I love the little pictures on the front from the kindergarten class. This one here is a picture and it says that I learned a vet takes care of cats. So it's a very cute little picture there. It has the veterinarian and the animals. This one here, I'm going to try to read it. It says, I learned that vets work with cats. That's right. I learned that vets work with cats. So we did talk a lot about cats and my cat Leo came to see them as well. So I guess here's the little kitty cat here and there's the veterinarian. That's really cute. This one says I learned that you can help dogs and cats. And so we've got quite the variety of pictures there. Kind of labeled their dog and their cat. It's really cute. This one says, I learned that cats, mm, I'm gonna have to, some of these, they have a little interpretation on the <laughs> back. I learned that dogs can't eat corn on the cob. So yes, we did talk about that corn on the cob is not good for your dogs to eat. So that's what they said there. This one is that I learned that dogs cannot have corn. So great, we got that point across to a few of them there. So maybe that's the corn on the table there. I'm not sure. This one is, I learned that dogs can chew. So they definitely can chew up things that are not good for them. We talked about that and being careful of what you leave lying around. So it looks like maybe the dog is at the top of the steps chewing up something it shouldn't be, maybe. This one says that um, she takes care of dogs. So there's a picture of a little dog, I think, on an exam table. It's very creative. <clears throat> this one, it's got a lot of little people heads here. I learned that they can't eat the corn, I think that's back to the corn again. So there must be a lot of little people here in the family and you've got your cat there and maybe that's, oh, maybe it's a corn. I think that's corn. you and the kids maybe. Oh, what, yeah. You're teaching them about the corn. Oh, this must be cat. Leo. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about that and there's all the kindergartners listening to me. Well, that's pretty Sorry about the input from the peanut gallery here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> this one, I love the picture, and I'll see if there's an interpretation. I learned about golden retrievers, yes. So we did talk about different breeds, and so I think that's um, what they drew there. That's really, really That's a good. pretty big playing out in the, Oh, yes, <laughs> playing out in the grass. Let's see, this one is... Uh, uh, oh, this one was about the... Uh, um, otoscope and, and ophthalmoscope that we talked about. So those are uh, looking in the ears and the eyes and so they're talking about a scope that can look in the in the pet's ears. Uh, so we did talk about that big word again. So they were right on. They knew what stethoscope was and otoscope and all those big words. This one here, um, I learned that, that vets help animals. So there's, I guess that might be a a cat again and at the vet clinic helping there. That's pretty cool. They're actually very good at the, the artists. hospital cross. Yeah. There and you got first aid. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 
And this one here, that is, that is very creative too. I, I am not an artist. I cannot draw as well as this. You draw a lot better than I do. <laughs> yeah, so I learned that vets help animals. So we've kind of got a little uh, zeroing in here on the face and looking at the face. Of course, there's the, the veterinarian and lots of cool detail there. Kitty's sitting nicely. Some of my patients sit nicely like that up on the exam table. That's awesome. <laughs> and there's a few more here. I learned that they help get stuff out of their bellies. I love this one. So we did talk about when they eat things they shouldn't, and sometimes we have to do surgery. We did have some honorary surgeons at the um, at the school where we uh, dress them up like surgeons. You may have seen that picture. Uh, so we talked about doing surgery and helping get foreign bodies out of out of pets. So I love that. And this may be the owners over here sitting in the waiting room, maybe. I like the little light. It's very detailed. So we've got our little <laughs> surgical light here and surgery table. I love that. All right. Let's see what our next one shows. This one is, um, I learned that they got a bone, a dog got a, a bone stuck on its mouth. So we did uh, talk about that a little marrow bone and the, how the dog was eating um, the bone and then actually slipped up over its mouth and got caught uh, behind the canine teeth. So I love all the little kids here in the picture listening and we're talking about. So this was probably the picture that I showed on the screen. Maybe that's me talking there and um, had the picture of the bone. And they actually got to see that bone too because we did pass that around in a little plastic bag and they got to see the actual bone that the dog got stuck on its mouth. So you have to be careful what you give your, what you give your pets there. Um, this one is, I learned that vets uh, let me look at the interpretation. Do take bones out of cat, it looks like. Bones out of cats, yes. So, there, so there's my kitty cat again. So to take bones out. So yes, dogs or cats, if they swallow bones, they shouldn't. We help, help get those out. And I think that's the picture of that little marrow bone that they looked at. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> um, I learned about dogs, so I love that. We did talk about um, dogs and and things that we should, how we should take care of them and help to prevent problems. So I love that cute little picture there. It's little tongues hanging out. I love that. And then this one. Um, oh, I, I learned when dogs swallow needles that they can hurt themselves. And so we did talk about a dog who had swallowed a needle and actually um, kind of came out the wrong way. So that dog's doing well. But and I love how that's all the little kids listening again so that's that's pretty cool and then the last one I learned that you help dogs so as a veterinarian we do try our best to help the animals that we see so that's really cute there so I just really enjoyed looking through this book I thought you guys might too that was very creative thank you Caudill Creek Elementary Kindergartners who sent this to me um, and the staff has really enjoyed looking at that too so we just thought we'd share that and um, give you guys a bright spot to your day thanks <laughs>